there, if uh, Kyle is watching, Kyle, Kyle, if you're watching, uh, let me know if you need that adapter, because here's that adapter for the airbrush that you were looking for. Uh, I think this is my second one I have. I might have a third one, so definitely have one available for you to use. So let me know if you still need one. Ciao. So what do we got here? What we got is some demons from a friend of mine at the club. I am going to be painting. So here we got a herald and a bunch of other blood letters down here at the bottom. We got this one here with the banner. So, really not uh, much to say, we'll just get started here. I'm going to put down a base layer and then go from there. So here's the Herald which is the first base layer of skin tone. And here are the rest of the guys. Just one coat so far. This one here that's really shiny is because he's the last one I just painted. And so I'm going to let these guys sit for a while, watch a couple YouTube videos, and then um, I, got, I got plenty. This could, do, this could do almost maybe three to four coats, um, but I'm only going to do a second coat and then go on from there. Um, all I'm using is just a, this is probably a number four round. There's no numbers on, on it, but um, I like this brush. It's a camel hair brush. I really do like the camel hair. Uh, just to uh, share a quick tip with you guys uh, so I got like this container here where I mixed my base coat for the blood letters and so like I said earlier I was going to let these dry for a little bit and then come back but I don't want my paint to dry so I put a lid on it this isn't the lid designed for this little container but I want to prevent the air from getting into it so I just used poster tag and sealed up the gaps so just a little quick tip there for you. All right, so the blood letters have been sitting overnight with their first coat, and I intend to put the second coat on them. And I'm in macro, so that's why they're fuzzy. Let's get out of macro. That didn't really improve anything, so we'll go back into macro. So anyways, um, yeah, so we're gonna put a second coat of the blood letters. And you know, I just did for that uh, pause with the uh, thing. Here's my paint after putting the poster tack around it to seal it in. Still hasn't dried. Well, it's a little, a little bit of water. Well, the fluoride water solution will help. And then uh, we're gonna put a second coat on there. Wait for them to dry, and then start adding in um, the other elements. More to come. So I got. You can. See, they're all fuzzy. Whoa, fuzzy. But basically, I got the second coat now of the base coat that I'm using. And, oh, blurry. Okay, so this guy, you can see I got the sword. It's got a little bit uh, lighter shade or redder shade to it. Uh, just using the sword as a practice palette, uh, mixing some uh, components together for a red for the model but I think I might just use a red that's straight out of the tube. I will wait till this dries and put another coat on that just to make sure. 
But right now I'm just waiting for these buggers to dry. Oh, someone fell over. I must have knocked them down. But yeah, I'm waiting for these guys to dry and then I'm going to start going into doing uh, more detail. I should probably, while I'm waiting for these guys to dry, uh, get online and reference some uh, pictures of these dudes. Uh, I know, I've known I've seen some that have like lava swords, but I'm kind of thinking maybe a bone sword might be cooler. I don't know. Ogre Dose, if you're watching, let me know if you want a flame sword or, or a bone sword. I will think I'm going to probably just post this progress so far, and that way then you can respond to that. Other than that, um, things are going pretty good. These guys are really spindly. Some of the models, um, kind of like the Sorcerer of Zenich that I was doing, they're because of the base and how they're leaning forward. It's kind of hard to get in underneath here. Nope, picking them up by the sword. But um, this one came bent. I didn't do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah so they're a little hard to get underneath the, the chest area underneath the head and stuff like that but did the best I could and yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pretty uh, as uh, Brian at Templar Crusader would say I'm pretty chaffed I'm pretty chaffed with how it's going alright folks I'm going to uh, let these dry upload this uh, segment of videos I've recorded so far and we'll be back later.